Now, 99% accurate means if we conduct a 100 tests, 99 of the results would be trustworthy and we would only have one false result, positive or negative. So imagine 100,000 people are tested and we create a table. Row A is for those who have the ailments and row B is for those who do not have the ailments. Now we would expect 100 of this 100,000 people to have the ailments because it is one in a thousand. And hence 99,900 would not have the ailments. Now because the test is 99% accurate, we would see 99 positive results and one false negative, that is, one person who actually has the ailment will be told that he does not have the ailment. Fair enough. Now of the 99,900 people who do not have the ailment, 1% unfortunately would be tested as false positive. That is, they would be told that they actually have the disease when they don't have the disease. And 98,901 people would be told correctly that they do not have the ailments. The tests yield 1,098 positive results. However, only 99 are true positives. What does this tell us? If you are tested positive, even with a 99% reliable test, there is only a 9.2% chance that you have these ailments. Yes, less than 10%. And the doctor wants to put you on medication. Statisticians refer to this as the base rate influence. This base rate argument is present in many of the decisions that are associated with uncertainties. Don't ignore this. Many real world problems are based on data with some degree of uncertainty. Thus, we need to be cognizant of the role of probabilities in our decisions. Most of us believe that common sense, logic, experience, intuition, judgment, etc. can solve any problem. This is a very dangerous assumption. Sadly, most doctors are not aware of this. Do take this into consideration before you rush into a medical procedure. There is more to decision making than just common sense, gut feel and experience. Do consider attending one of our highly interactive virtual workshops.